Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And what I want to say is there's a misconception that Australia don't make a sports fishing centre console. Well, they do. It's called an Axis 552 Evolution. Have a look at it. Now, it is the same offshore hull that uh, Evolution is famous for, but we've made it into a sports fishing centre console and come up here Dan because this is a special sort of boat I love this boat have a look go down that hole it's got 21 degree dead rise at the transom the hull is hand laid no chopper gun it's laid in there with resin it is a bespoke custom boat when we look at the front here what we'll see is it's got a moulded anchor well which will take an anchor winch that's if you don't want to put the min coder on it, which probably most people would. We got it on a tandem axle trailer because it's a big boat. It's six one lot. It's six one. It is their five five two because Evolution and uh, Paul and Melinda Melinda Junger, they're shipwrights and they measure a boat at the waterline. Uh, I did a five five two, so the measurements are the same in that. Huge big duckboard. We've put a 175 Yamaha on it. It's gonna go like a rabbit shot in the butt. Beautiful transom on these things, a planing hull on it. Have a look underneath. You've got that trailer. Hydraulic steer, of course. One of their custom made bait boards. Storage under here. Fiberglass, molded, strong, very versatile. Now, there's two 80 litre live bait tanks they could be kill tanks. You could do court tournament fishing in it. Have a look inside, stick the camera inside. They are, they're massive, right over there, rounded off, fish will swim round. You only need 65 litres for a bass tournament, but that's not the only one, don't worry about that. We've got some storage for underneath each window. This is where your batteries go with some of that Brisbane Yamaha famous work that we do. More storage over here. Big deep side pockets, deck wash. Have a look at those side pockets. Solid fiberglass, you can stand on them with rod storage. Even, and look at this dash, have a look at it. You've got the back to front seat, absolutely beautiful on, on center consoles. We've put the Yamaha on it. We've put a couple of land gauges. Now this is a 16 inch sounder. Now what we're doing is, it does fit there, but we're actually waiting on a little moulding that goes on, it'll go on the dash. So the dash will even take a sound of that size. You could probably put a couple on it. Radio switch panel, drink holders, USBs. You know, we've never got enough storage. So under here, a little bit of storage goes back into the bilge. 150 litre fuel tank, even under this seat. Look at that. You could put ice in there. I don't know, it's not made for ice, but you know, I'd put a couple of roast chicken, some rolls. I could put anything in there. I'd probably stuff it with tackle. Maybe I'd even put a couple of ham and pickles in there and keep them for later, just in case. Your top mount binnacle, you know, just to make it nice, easy to use. Good steering wheel, hydraulic steer, like you'd expect. It is a true two person seating position. It'll take six people, this boat. Now, Stainless steel, high quality cleats, everything, rod holders, just perfect because it's set up as you'd want. Look at this casting deck. Have a look at this. It is massive, all non-slip, all moulded. Now, when we go through, and I was talking about storage, and you all know there's never a boat with enough storage. Well, this is coming close. They're all, and, yeah, and they, no, before you say anything, if they're foam filled, don't forget every evolution is hand laid, foam filled. So every hatch is like a fiberglass esky. It'd hold ice. Big storage there. This one in the middle has another 200 litre kill tank that you could be as an option. Right, so if you're a real tournament fisherman, maybe you're fishing offshore, put them in there. More storage on this side. And what this actually is, have a look in here, because they fit a nine foot rod, and there's your rod storage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
maybe 10 rods in there. We're about half a dozen rods short on how many most people, <laughs> tournament guys use. Up here, ingenious. Have a look how this is molded. How, have a look how it's made. That stuff doesn't just happen. This is design. Matt is for your Minn Kota batteries. Look at the lips, all draining out. This is quality. You can feel how thick the fiberglass is and the finish on it. You know, this isn't a normal boat. This is a custom built bespoke boat. You know, so you're looking at American, bring something in, you'd buy one of these all day, I reckon. Non-slip up here, look at it. Look how beautiful all that moulding is and fiberglass work. You know, and everything's got an application. This is for your Minn Kota. Over here, runs down all underneath. Now, what we were looking at is a lot of the American boats for Australian conditions don't have the freeboard. Now, come here, Dan. I want to show you something that's very interesting and a lot of people get pissed off. Look at my feet. I've got feet like a Yeti. They go right underneath. Lock yourself in when it's rough. Freeboard-wise... 690, 680. Right, a freeboard. So they've got a high side because this hull is an offshore boat and it's an awesome sort of, it's an awesome uh, cabin boat. But, and they've made it into this centre console and I, I really like it. I'll be honest with you. I think there's a lot of people out there that have been looking for a centre console, true sports fishing centre console, chase billies, chase bass do everything and you could still take the family you know my wife would lie down here have a couple of chardonnays she'd probably pass out but wonderful boat now if you're looking for a trophy boat if you think you're a sports fisherman and you just need the gear to win a tournament this is tournament winning boat do yourself a favor call paul mcnaught he's our brisbane yamaha expert at evolution 3888-1727. Everything's online, brisbaneyamaha.com.au. And I hope I see you on the water. I hope I see you on the winning podium with your evolution. Bye.